Yes, you welcome to my channel today. It's your boy Jacob Pat. Today we are going to talk about another tutorial uh, of career guidance. And if you're one of those people who enjoy my content and you like what I I put out here on my videos, please don't hesitate to subscribe to my channel and you click that like button so that my tutorial can be sent to other people like you. Who love my code now today we are going to talk about another very important uh, marketable profession here in uganda which uh, not so many people know about but it's a very good profession and we are going to talk about biomedical engineering yes biomedical engineering is a very very good profession like all other engineering courses but this one is quite a little bit unique that uh, it's new in Uganda and not so many people know about it, but it's a very good uh, fast growing profession here in the country and I would encourage all uh, my students uh, who are in senior six and all other related professions in engineering or who are doing health related professions or the lower levels and they would like to take up this course, I would encourage them to take it up. Now today we are going to basically to dig deep about biomedical engineering, what's biomedical engineering, the requirements needed for this course, uh, the duration, the institutions where you can study this course, and basically the market. So if you really like this content, just tune in and watch the video until the end as I split down uh, every content about this course so basically biomedical engineering is a fast growing course in uganda uh, you can find it at both diploma and degree level the most popular places where they are teaching a diploma in biomedical engineering is ECRE here in mango and degree courses can be found in makerere barara and chambogo which is a very popular institution for engineering courses so basically what are the requirements needed for you to get into a school for biomedical engineering so basically in biomedical engineering you need to principal passes either in chemistry, physics, mathematics, and biology. Or if you, you don't have any of those and you have a health-related course, uh, like um, they accept radiograph, uh, they accept lab techs, they accept orthopedic uh, medicine. If you have any of those related courses, you can apply and, and do a school for biomedical engineering. And also, uh, they also take up people who have done engineering like mechanical and electrical engineering and they are interested in doing biomedical engineering, you also qualify for this course. So basically, if you wanted this course at a diploma level, uh, the most popular school teaching diploma level biomedical engineering is ECRE here in Mengo and it's basically two years. So two years you get your diploma in biomedical engineering. If you want biomedical engineering at a bachelor's degree level, you need to either go to Makerere, uh, Barara, and Chambo who currently also is teaching biomedical engineering four years at a degree level. So what do biomedical engineers do? So basically biomedical engineers take care of health related uh, equipment, uh, equipment which medical workers use which range from cardiac monitors, uh, oxygen cylinders, oxygen concentrators, uh, mechanical ventilators both in the OR and in the ICUs, all those me mechanical ventilators is the biomedical engineers who take care of those instruments to make sure they are working, to make sure the parameters are good, uh, they are all in good condition, and also to teach our uh, uh, health workers like the nurses, the doctors, on how to control the parameters and how to make sure that the, the instruments and the supplies are all in good condition and that's basically the job of a biomedical engineer now initially here in our country uganda uh, uh the, the 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 profession or or the jobs for biomedical engineers were taken up by basically mechanical and 
electrical engineers and uh, they fell short because they didn't have although they had the mechanical bit of it but they didn't have enough content to manage medical instruments so basically the few biomedical engineers we had in the country we are coming from kenya and nairobi and uh, not all our institutions almost all our institutions were not teaching biomedical engineering but now it's a fast growing up profession now you can get it in Chambogo, Ekre, uh, you can get it in Makere, you can get it in Barara. It's a very, very good course. Uh, and the fact that the market for the course is high and not so many people, we don't have so many biomedical engineers in the country. I would encourage all those who are interested, those in senior six, those who are doing other science subjects, which are other science sub courses, which are very populated and they have interest in biomedical engineering. They can take up this course. It's a very, very good course. The salary is very good and the jobs are still quite very many. All hospitals in the country, all those high profile tertiary institutions in the country, which are having all these big supplies and instruments, they need biomedical engineers to take care of those, yeah, of those uh, instruments. So the job market for biomedical engineers is quite high, both in private and public institutions they can get a government job as a biomedical engineer and also you can get a private job as a biomedical engineer the jobs are quite very many in all hospitals so if you're one of those people who are out there and you feel this is the cost for you you are in some of those uh, health courses and you feel you are not comfortable you want to take up biomedical engineering I would encourage you to take up this course. The salary is very good both in private and public institutions. Thank you very much for listening and watching my tutorial. Don't forget to subscribe and click that like button.